Oh man, it's Monday already. The weekend's gone super, super quick, but that can only mean one thing. It's time for another episode of Mo Mondays. Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Mo Mondays. In today's episode, I am going to teach you and show you the one website that you need to bookmark uh, as part of your browser. If you are selling Teams rooms, or you are deploying Teams rooms, or even talking to your customers around Teams rooms, the one place that you absolutely want to always visit if you have any questions is the Microsoft Teams rooms admin guide. Uh, once you fire up your favorite browser uh, and you've got your search engine, simply go ahead and just type in MTR admin guide like so. And literally the first um, kind of hits that pop up are the ones that you want to go to. It will start off learn.microsoft.com. That's when you know that you are on the right page. Go ahead, select one of those. Uh, and when you select one of them, you'll be greeted with this page uh, across here. Now, with the learn.com Microsoft websites, uh, these are effectively anything and everything to do with all types of different Microsoft technologies, be it Teams, be it Teams Rooms, be it Surf Surf Surface Hub, etc. Uh, and it provides you with all the technical and relevant information that you need. Um, the way you would navigate it is look here on the left hand side and let's start off um, across here. You'll see we've got Microsoft Teams Rooms and we go ahead and click the overview. Inside the overview, we provide a whole bunch of information and we try and split it out into kind of the journey a customer would generally take. So we have the overview of Teams Rooms, we have uh, planning Teams Rooms, deploying Teams Rooms and then managing Teams Rooms. And as part of management, we also now provide the Teams Rooms Pro management um, information there as well. Um, so let's go ahead and open up and expand what plan looks like. And the first thing that you'll notice is this will give you a lot of information about how to plan um, your Teams Rooms, even before you start thinking about deployment, etc. You know, what is a Teams Rooms, what the Teams Rooms components are. Teams Rooms licenses, and of course, we provide links across here that move into other areas of Microsoft web pages. When we're talking about things like licensing, uh, as an example, we even go down to identifying, you know, those key stakeholders. Who should you actually be talking to, and what uh, parts of a deployment or a project are really relevant for them? So, you know, if you're looking at site readiness, um, these would essentially be people like facilities or AV teams or IT project teams. You know, when you move into deployment, again, those same sort of guys, uh, et cetera. So we quite try and split it up. So you're, we're trying to ensure that you speak to the correct stakeholders across here. Of course, uh, we also provide the overview around team rooms licensing uh, across here as well. Um, so all, all the things about basic, all the things about pro uh, and anything else that's attached to a team's rooms generally will show up uh, across here. So again, we provide all of that information here. And of course, if your customer is, let's say, a government customer or, you know, a different, you know, a customer who really needs security as an example, we provide as much information and links across here uh, on this on this part of the uh, web page as well. Um, if I move through, I mean, you can probably read through the rest of it. So we've got things like admin center and legacy licensing. Uh, and the one common question we get asked all the time is, you know, Teams rooms on Windows and Android feature comparisons. They're here as well. Uh, do know we do have dates as well. Um, so these are what we call live web pages. So they are constantly being updated uh, and constantly being reviewed by the experts at Microsoft that, that, that create all of this content. And again, this is customer facing. So you can absolutely share this with your customers as well, especially those kind of um, uh, customers, the stakeholders that are really looking for that nitty gritty technical detail uh, across there. One of my favorite parts of the planning um, side of this is what we call the meeting room guidance. Um, so we get asked all the time around, does Microsoft provide any meeting room guidance? And the answer is yes. We provide some guidance around meeting rooms and how we see meeting rooms should be deployed. Of course, you guys are the experts. So when you start adding your value add and you start adding some of your other services, you really build out what that proposition looks like. But in terms of kind of the uh, the kind of basic bare bones uh, meeting room guidance, we have that across here as well, where we talk about the types of meetings that take place. And I've spoken about this in previous episodes where you know meeting room personas are really important. Uh, in order to kind of pick the correct devices. So we'd look at things like presentation focused meetings, co-creation types of meetings, you know, optimizing meeting experiences 
uh, across here what a good experience looks like, what a better experience looks like, uh, and what the best experience looks like as well. Uh, we also look at things like technology considerations. So when we look up audio and video, um, you know, uh, et cetera, we try and put that information here. But if you scroll back up to the top, uh, you'll notice we actually have like two tabs. So we've got your traditional type of meeting room. And then, of course, we have the signature Teams rooms that a lot of our customers are looking at as well. So again, we provide that guidance across here around what the vision is for Microsoft, what makes a signature uh, uh, Teams rooms, you know, when you should deploy this type of room. And then more importantly, as part of a signature meeting room, it's much more than just the technology in the room. It's also understanding the space, you know, the uh, the audio, the lighting, etc. You know, how do the cameras work? Where should they be placed? You know, what do the displays look like as well? Um, so again, we provide all of that information across here, you know, even some design guidance. So what the room, typical room sizes would look like, uh, the capacity, the furniture, the equipment mounting, uh, infrastructure. You know, a lot of us forget about infrastructure. How do we, you know, kind of run the cables uh, inside of that meeting room as well? Uh, so again, you know, we kind of provide all of that information across here. This is a really good starting point when you are having those conversations, those early conversations with your customers to kind of place them in that correct mindset of, you know, just not looking at those traditional types of meeting rooms, but if they're looking at uh, kind of the signature type, what are the other considerations across there? Not just the technology. Um, and then going back to the left-hand side on the navigation, you'll see, of course, we have things like version support. So, you know, uh, what are the versions uh, of Windows uh, and the app versions that currently are supported across here as well? Uh, the minimum application versions, the recommended OS builds, you know, all of that information is here. Um, release notes as well. So the latest release notes for each one. So you'll see all the version history pops up here, but as you scroll further down, we then provide like the, the latest release notes. And of course the latest um, uh, today is 4.16. Um, so we provide that information uh, across here as well. So again, you know, great to bookmark because then you get to see exactly uh, what we have across here. Then we start moving into the nitty gritty. How do you prepare your environment? So when you're looking at uh, preparing your environment, customers always ask us about security and ask us about, you know, what ports and, uh, and, and things like that, that should be open. Again, all of that information is here on the uh, admin guide. We even go down to, uh, you know, what ports and URLs and IP address ranges need to be opened up um, uh, and the why. So that's all inside here uh, if, if customers need. Uh, even some customers, I mean, we don't recommend having, you know, kind of proxies. Um, but of course, you know, if a customer has that requirement and that need, we provide that information here on the admin guide as well. Um, moving on. Requirements. So what are the requirements? This page is a great page if you want to see exactly what is certified from Microsoft in terms of hardware. We provide a full list in terms of what the console, uh, cameras, etc. Uh, that are certified. So it's a big list. Uh, you know, we kind of move fur further down the list and I'll let you guys browse that as well. Uh, but we can see all the certified cameras and peripherals that are certified 14 rooms. They show up here on this list. Of course, customers always ask about security as well. Um, so finally, we have um, security pages. So we have two pages. We have one for Windows security, where we talk about hardware security, software security, account security, all that information is here. And again, you can uh, download or send the link directly to uh, kind of your customer. Uh, we also do move into kind of Android security here as well of what makes um, you know Android different from Windows and how we actually secure these devices as well. Um, Moving on, uh, on to the next section, uh, we have the deploy. Um, so when you are ready to go ahead and deploy, what does deployment actually look like for Teams Room? So again, you know, we talk about things like site readiness, uh, creating resource accounts and creating the resource accounts with the admin guide. Uh, it's really comprehensive because one will provide you with all the requirements. We, we tell you, hey, you need a license and these are the licenses that you need. And then how do you actually create that resource account? Uh, we provide different uh, ways. So depending on the customer's infrastructure, are they using the 365 admin center? Are you are you using Exchange Online, Exchange Server, you know, modifying an existing Exchange Room mailbox as an example? We provide all of that here, but we also provide the PowerShell scripts and the handy little copy uh, button here. So you can easily copy those PowerShell scripts uh, and then use PowerShell to go ahead and create your room resource accounts as, uh, as well. Configuring a console. So across here, you know, uh, this is if you're uh, wanting to configure a uh, Teams Rooms console. It's specifically designed for kind of the older 
call them the SRS units, you know, the old school SRS units that maybe you're still rocking Skype room systems and then you want to upgrade them and move them uh, towards Teams rooms. That's where this page really comes in and, and talks about how to create that image. Bearing in mind, you cannot add the MTR image onto any computer that is not certified by Microsoft and the OEM. So it has to be certified. This particular page is only really designed for the certified devices that were kind of SRS back in the day. And you want to kind of bring them up to spec. To be honest, there's not many of them out there anymore. Um, but if there is a need, you can use the configure a console pop across there. And again, you know, conscious of time, you can see across here, you know, we talk about things like authentication. How do you create uh, you know, those authentication rules, are you using conditional access or or, or Intune um, uh, as an example? All that information is portrayed here on this part of the website. Um, and again, you know, one of the most common questions I get asked is, hey, I see Microsoft pushed out a new update. We don't have the update yet. How do I manually update a device? It's very easy to do by using this link here, manually update a device. And it provide you so this link will provide you with the latest firmware and then of course we have all the details including again the powershell scripts and how to update your device uh, without having to wait for windows update to go ahead and, and do it over uh, over a, a number of weeks uh you'll notice as we move here to the left we've got things like content camera voice recognition for intelligent speakers you know how to set those things up and we even have a dedicated section for surface hub um, so, of course, you may have heard the uh, announcements uh, over the last couple of weeks during Enterprise Connect with what's happening with Surface Hub. Um, you know, that that part of the web page will be updated in time as well. It's currently relevant for today and how Surface Hubs work today. Um, and of course, in, in time, we will be updating that with the latest information as well. And then once you've got your rooms deployed, how do you actually go ahead and manage these devices? So, again, a big section around management. So how do you manage these devices? How do you um, do things like maintenance and operations? So, you know, how do you connect logs? How do you manage disk space? How do you, you know, uh, look at front of room display settings? Even things like enabling the home screen refresh. So with the 4.16 uh, update that was uh, released uh, in recent weeks, um, the UI is actually as part of that firmware, but you have to manually uh, enable it by using a, a Skype XML file. Uh, and this will, again, tell you exactly how to do that. Things like joining third-party meetings, any known issues, um, you know, manage settings with an XML file, or even trying to recover a device. So if you have a device that is royally messed up and you need to recover it, you know, most most uh, customers will end up going directly to an OEM, which you can absolutely do. Um, but uh, we, we, from a Microsoft standpoint, actually provide a nice easy way by using a recovery tool. So you can use the recovery tool and recover your device into a workable state as well. Um, so again, you know, I think I am pretty much out of time, um, but you can see here that the Microsoft Teams Rooms admin guide is a phenomenal resource um, for the latest information around all things Microsoft Teams Rooms. Definitely go ahead and bookmark that. You know, uh, I kind of say to everyone, it's like the Bible for Teams Rooms devices. You know, that should be your first point of call if you have any questions or you're looking to troubleshoot or you're looking to build out what that uh, practice looks like, um, you know, when you're talking to a customer around deploying uh, Teams Rooms over a number of months. The Microsoft Teams Rooms admin guide is the place to be. Use that. Chances are you will find all the answers to your questions on that. Many times when, uh, you know, uh, resellers reach out to me, I end up going to the MTR admin guide, using that, find, finding the information and then pinging that across. But this will make your life so much more easier simply by bookmarking it and then having a good look through. And again, just as a reminder, it is public facing. So you can send those links directly to your customers if needed. Hopefully this has been very, very useful for you. Um, of course, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments below. And again, as always, be sure to like, subscribe and hit that bell button so you're ready and you don't miss the next episode of Mormon Days. Take care all and I will see you again next week.